So this is a pretty interesting take. Nintendo fell off in the 90s. This is a very interesting take. 100% because I don't really know anything about the you know, here, but two of the Metroid, you know, here is at, at, you know. But basically, this is what someone says about Nintendo and the 90s here. Nintendo had a comfort food approach to the game. Super Mario World was a comforting game devoid of any talent or any sense of evil. Bowser's area looks like Vegas and Bowser ones in a lot of the Crown Cow. Are uh, you really making fun of Bowser's Crown Cow? Really? You know, that's one of the most iconic things in the Mario series, okay? You know, yes, at the time, it was like, really? Crown Cow? But... Crown Cow is considered like an iconic thing. Like you can like really put them out on like Mario Maker and stuff because they they're that iconic that they even make Mario be able to ride it. Okay, it's something that is so iconic and so you know well known and well beloved. It's because it's contrast to the series of L ships. Um, they actually brought back the L ships in other Mario later Mario games. Uh, Link to the Past is an absolute joke. I was hoping to do a second quest of Link to the Past, but this game actually got interesting, but it never did. And it's also Super Metroid. It doesn't have the same aspect feel as the first Metroid. Of course, I'm not familiar with Metroid, but it's so funny that these people are upset over the Crown Cow in Mario. Yes, the Crown Cow, one of the most I, Bowser's iconic mode of transportation that he uses in so many games. The reason why Bowser uses the Crown Cow is because it is basically like his own personal thing. Also, Bowser Jr. has one as well, and all the Koopalines do too. But basically, Bowser designed it so he can use it to get around without having to travel in a whole armada of sips. It's kind of like, you know, having, it's kind of like having, you know, a tank, but you have your own personal mode of transportation, you know, as well, kind of like that you can have an armada or a fleet, but how, like how Dr. Eggman has his, you know, his own transportation to transport himself around. Bowser has his own transportation to transport himself around as well. And it's funny that they're upset over the crown cow. That's pretty funny. Again, I'm not, I'm not a big Zelda fan, so I'm not really familiar with Zelda or Metroid. So it is pretty funny. This guy is really is upset over the, you know, what a lot of people consider is the best era of Nintendo, the 16 bit and N64 era of Nintendo. Mostly out of nostalgia, but yeah, that's about this video here. And, Goodbye.